Okay, here we go. Well, for those of you who have been following along, and I know you have, um, I did finally get my Caltech PMR30 back from Caltech. Um, I was warned that it would take about eight weeks, and you know, it was exactly eight weeks from the time I sent it off to the time I got it back. Um, I have been working really hard lately. I have not had the time to go to the range, but I am going uh, tomorrow and we're going to find out uh, what kind of a job they did for me. Uh, as you know, I was experiencing all kinds of difficulties. I had it blow up on me uh, as per my other episodes. So yes, I got it back and I'm hoping that uh, we got it fixed. Now, I have the work order here. I was hoping to get a little more feedback from them to let me kind of know what it was they did was it anything to do with my M Carbo uh, upgrades that I've done? But I didn't get a whole lot. As a matter of fact, all I've got is a copy of the work order. And it states that what they did was replaced the slide and the slide cover. They updated the barrel and extractors with a the newest revision interesting uh, it also states they polished the, the chamber edge and the breech face and that they inspected and test fired with no malfunctions that's it that's my feedback now interesting they don't mention anything about the encarbo parts so I guess uh, for them it was good. The only other note here is uh, about specific ammo. Uh, it says steel, polymer, aluminum cased ammo is not recommended, which I never did use any of that. So anyway, we will take it out tomorrow. I have four magazines. I loaded it up. Way back when I first got the PMR-30 back and thinking I was going to go out the next day and shoot it, well, that didn't happen. So these magazines have been loaded for at least a month. So it'll be interesting to notice uh, if that has an effect, the pressure applied by the magazine spring. I know that in loading these you can pick up little dents and stuff like that so it's going to be interesting to see how um, those magazines having been loaded for over a month with four different kinds of rounds i've got cci maxi mag 40 grain i've got winchester wind mag 40 grains there's uh, some older ones that i've had i've got uh, a newer type it's called norma and it also 40 grains. And then I've got Hornady Critical Defense, which is 45 grains, which is what I intend to carry uh, when I carry the PMR-30. So let's get on out to the range. We're gonna test fire this. I'm gonna go ahead and run through all four mags, 120 rounds. Hopefully we can get through all of them flawlessly, uh, but we'll see. And that is the, the hope and intent uh, for the PMR-30 being reliable enough so that I can carry it with confidence. So let's get out to the range. Here we go. Here we go.
What? What? Don't! That's the one. All right, so back from the range, and as you saw, it almost ran 100%. 120 rounds, four different magazines, four different types of ammunition. So, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, if, if I got an extra thousand rounds of uh, 22 mag laying around, uh, I'll go out and, and shoot it. Uh, it's hard to come by. The ammo shortage has not let up at least not in my area so as per the title of this episode in for a penny in for a pound my hope was that the money i've invested in the in carbo parts the extra magazines the ammo the spare parts um, it all adds up to a lot more than the original cost of this firearm I finally got to the place where my money is not wasted. It looks like I have a the makings of a reliable 22 Magnum pistol that has 30 rounds capability, which is what I wanted. So I'm thinking I'm there. Uh, you let me know what you think. I just want to thank everybody for tagging along with me on this journey. It's been a long one, fraught with potholes and obstructions, but uh, I think we're there. If I come up with any more related uh, information that I feel worthy to do another episode, I will do that. Like I said, in for a penny, in for a pound. The Caltech PMR-30. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Help? Help!